In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello everyone, we are at the very start of our third week on this challenge. We are in the middle of a quest end boss fight, which I started and then logged out of. So I'm going to get pretty much straight into it, but today after that, uh, I think the plan is to do either mining or fishing. I haven't decided which yet, because I hate them both, but I'll figure it out. And, uh, see where we go with it. Okay, oh, so it put me back outside. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't going well, but... Shit, I'm gonna have to mine all the gold now. That's lost time. I should have just done a birdhouse run at the end of yesterday rather than going into it. Should have brought a rune pick, too. Okay, that's six. I guess we lost two and a half minutes by repeating that, but... At least we're getting some mining XP. Okay, so what we're going this? Uh, it's just that we want to change. Okay, I think I did it. That was a lot of flicking, and I was doing it badly. All right, there is the quest. Some lovely XP coming in, and we are going to get ourselves straight towards a birdhouse run. Oh, we got a rune pick as well. That's actually a nice reward. I did not realize that that was part of uh, what we were getting there. That's very nice. Extra little bonus. Saves me from going to buy one. Such lag. Come on. The fuck is going on? My client. Okay, right, we're gonna just dump everything for the minute. And then we'll get ourselves the standard stuff. Alright, off to do a birdhouse run. It'll be tight to be able to get them in again before the end of the session. But who knows? Maybe possible. Oh, I didn't get my battle staff to arc. Yeah, I think we'd be struggling to reclaim those. We'd have like one minute to do the run. Could be possible, but we'd have to be like there, bang on time, ready to go. Okay. Jesus, it is so laggy right now. I don't know what is going on. I feel like I'm saying this every day at the minute. Must be something dodgy in my settings that needs fixing. Alright, so all we really want is an Addy Tally. Welcome to our life. This is going to be a very exciting video. I think it's worth just quickly setting up an XP tracker. To say the end goal is level 50. Oh, well, there's the first level coming in, 43. We're apparently going to need to do like an hour and a half of this to meet our goal. Which isn't great, but unless I properly learn tick manipulation to do granite which i have attempted one time before lasted it might like i did it for a couple of hours and i was not very good at it so i wouldn't bank on it as being a method i could try gem rocks in shiloh but i don't have the underground access so i'd be fighting for people for rocks and having to hop which is probably just gonna end up slower I feel like this is the fastest way to do it, it's just not going to have any good content. So yeah, this is going to be a short video. There is 44. 
Oh, we got our first gem. Why not keep it? That's 45. Being as efficient as I possibly can be. A ruby? Wow. We are officially under an hour left of this, but, like, I've used most of the session of it. Which unfortunately means I'm gonna have to do another day of this. I don't know if I'll do it directly after, though. I might do some fishing tomorrow. Go do some Temporos, because that'll be more interesting, at least. Because they've both got the same deadline, the fishing and the mining, so... What do we need them done by? We actually need our cooking up as well, so... I was thinking I would just fish at Temporos, but we should probably cook as well. Get the extra cooking XP. There is a bunch of uh, like RFD subquests we can get some cooking XP from as well, so it's not as much of a priority. Here I am sat talking about tomorrow's video because, uh, well, this is fucking today's video. 46. Right, I'm just gonna have a little change of scenery actually. Figured I may as well grab the full invent and send it to the GE on the way. And there is a reason why I'm having a change of scenery as well. I can hear it when it only puts one of something in rather than both. Anyway, there's a little money from the, uh, the dehydes as well that we still had. And we may as well just chuck those up as so. well. Beautiful. Oh, that was only one of them. Ah, so annoying. Okay, a bit of money got right. We are going to get our birdhouse stuff. That's four teaks. I believe that is everything. And we also want a dig site pendant. Okay. And we've got the rest. So that's all we need. We are going to... God, why do I feel like I'm missing something here? I'm going to do that just to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to go to Fossil Island. Because I'm literally going to have, like, somewhere between two and one minutes left to do the birdhouse run once they finish. So, we're going to do the Iron Rocks here instead. Hopefully we'll have time to get these birdhouses right at the end of the session. Can't let my invent stock up too much or I'll uh, I won't be able to see my iron to drop it. Creating a mini game within the uh, the clearly intended way of playing RuneScape here. This is how the game was created to be enjoyed. Might have to take another look at the quest list and see if there's anywhere where I can get some skill lamps. Because if I could get like a couple 10k lamps then I wouldn't have to spend another half a day doing this. I don't know, I feel like the list is pretty exhausted at this point. Like if it was doable, it's probably already on my list if I haven't done it already. There is 47. We are slowly getting there. The only one I can think of is Darkness of Hollow Vale. We can get 6k, 3 2k lamps. That is on the list, there's a couple prereqs, but it is a way to do it. And it's quests that we're planning to do anyway for quest points. And other experience rewards. There might be like one or two easy diaries I could just knock out as well. They're like two and a half k of pop if I remember right. Like maybe there's one that just we happen to have already done most of, you know. I think the Karamja easy is super easy if I remember right. Oh, there are only 1k lamps? Or is that different for the Karamja one? The Karamja's different in it. I don't remember why, but the Karamja lamps are smaller. I followed all. That's two and a half k. Get a haircut. Kill a duck. Repair the straw. Go to the farming shop. I mean, it's all. I don't really want to do blur right limbs. That's a bit annoying. Got Fremmy. Haven't done troll stronghold yet, but we are planning to. That's kind of a lot. Shit, I haven't been dropping my rocks. I mean, there are some doable achievement diaries. I just, I can't figure out if it'll actually... It might not save me time, particularly. It'll probably take around the same amount of time as just mining it, but it might make more interesting content, at least. I'm not just here, uh, fucking hitting a rock for hours. What's the core and easy like? 
Let me check that one. Need 25 construction. They're all quite long, that's the problem. A lot of tasks. A lot of tasks. We are almost there on these bird houses. I don't know if it's gonna let me out. Yep. Okay. Mm, there's a hunter level. Cool, we actually got our birdhouses done today for once. I'm just gonna save the bank and alk some stuff. Oh, we got a U seed. That's 20k. Not bad. Not a great deal of progress to report today, really. As we're getting towards wrapping up. One more in. Yeah, not too much to, to report. Bit of Hunter XP. We got 5k smithing, Hunter, Defense, and 37,000 mining. We've still got 20,000 mining to go. 22,000. I am going to look into any, any potential ways that I could get some lamps to cut that short because, yeah, this fucking sucks. If you also hate mining, leave a like on the video to show solidarity and leave a comment down below telling me that it's okay and it'll all be over soon. And subscribe to the channel so you can see the next video I do where I'm hopefully not mining. I'm not planning to. I'm not planning to mine tomorrow. Not after this shit. I hope you like the next one, even if you thought this one was awful. Maybe it's just me. Maybe this is entertaining for you all. <laughs> Watching me be brain dead fucking rocks. Probably not though. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.